pop in. So it's Friday evening. I'm getting ready for work. I'm going to the new club. So yeah, I'm getting ready right now. We have to do our hair. Try to get some more footage of the club today. New club, a really pretty big club. So I'm gonna try to get some more footage today for you guys. Got our ponytail to get ready. Where's my hairbrush? Where's my brush? Brush, brush, brush. Where the fuck is the brush? Oh, here it is. All the way in the middle of the fucking room. Okay. So. It's like almost 5 o'clock right now. I think 5.30 almost. I'm trying to get there before 7. We're getting ready for work. Gotta throw our hair in. Oh my goodness, I don't know why, I've been feeling like, ugh, ugh, like literally I was in bed all day today, I don't know, after I'd be working, when I work at night, like I literally don't want to do shit all day except for being in bed, and that's why I like doing day shifts, because I still have time to get up and go do things before the day, then things after work, and then go to bed at night, but I've been working at night, and now it's just like, I wake up, get ready for work, go to work, come home, sleep all day, I don't understand. That's why I like my day shifts. But we're trying something different. So we're going to work tonight. Night shift. Oh, I have a headache. I need to take some ibuprofen. Why do I always have fucking headaches? There's always something wrong with me. I swear to God. The string gets all tangled up. Okay. Go. Make sure our hair is in here nice and tight. It's hot. First, it was cold because I had my air on. So I came in here and now I'm starting to get hot in my stomach. Ugh. I just got done eating. Man, Sedella would not let me eat in peace. I swear to God, my dog does not want to let me eat in peace. Give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment, you guys. So, I'm not doing no makeup today because no. Mm mm. I'm gonna roll a blunt and then, yeah, then we're gonna be at work. Got our ponytail. Got, I'm surprised these nails did not fall off yesterday. We usually press on nails, don't fucking last. Look, I still got all of them and they haven't fell off. And they're like on here, they're on here. Like what the fuck? Well, at least they're lasting because this shit was like $8. But normally press on nails don't fucking stay on me. They always pop off like on stage and stuff. But day two, we still got them on. I'm going to see you guys when we get to the club. So now I'm getting ready to go to the club. I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to come pick me up. This is the second club that me and my boyfriend work at together. So we're going to the new club. I'm just waiting for him to pick me up. But yeah, me and my boyfriend work at this new club together. So this is our second club together. You already know the vibes. Come give us your money. Show some love. But yeah, time to go to work. No makeup today. I put some foundation on. I still have glitter from yesterday. Oh, hell no. But Friday night, we're going to the club. I'm going to try to get some more footage for y'all tonight of this beautiful club. So we're at work. At work. Me and this 
girl is gonna go talk to some customers. They just got a section. So me and this girl is gonna go to that section and talk to the customers. They just got here, so we're gonna go over there. outside at the door but i'm outside on the patio smoking um i didn't do any dances tonight but i made something on stage today there was like 50 girls the rotation took forever i feel like i only went on stage like maybe five times tonight i learned a trick on the hoop oh my god Whew, that was fun but i learned a trick on the hoop Cause this club has to hoop like you guys saw and i never used it before and so i started working here and i taught myself a trick today so i'm happy i taught myself a new pole trick it's fucking cold as fuck and surprisingly i'm not that tired maybe because i was sleeping all day but i'm not that tired right now tomorrow's saturday i'm gonna go to sugar during the day we open at one so hopefully this should be a wake in time. I hope. Because oh, today I was supposed to go to Sugar by Slack. I was sleeping all day. <sighs> it's so loud in here. I want to record more. But the music beginning my video is copyrighted. So it's kind of hard to get footage in the club. When it's so fucking loud. They have a girl DJ here tonight. I worked at five other clubs and none of them had a girl DJ so that's different oh my god it's fucking cold fucking cold it's about two o'clock in the morning now so I believe we're open another 30 minutes and then by the time me and my boyfriend get out of here it's gonna be like 3 30 because since he's a bouncer here now um we still have shit to do when the club closes or we probably won't be out of here until like 3 30 by the time we leave because that's the time we left last night was around 3 30. and oh my god these shoes i literally had to super glue these shoes like the little tip on the bottom the where they always break like that's the only part where my shoe breaks that little screw comes out but i had some nail glue before it fell all the way off so it's still on there right now hopefully this nail glue helps all my nails all came off well like four of them fell off like two on this hand and two on that hand so i decided to rip them all off 
So I wouldn't be going around with just missing nails. I just took all my nails off. My boyfriend just told me someone fell off of the hoop. Like she went flying into the floor. That's fucking crazy. Crazy, oh my god. He just came out here and told me that right now. I was like, damn. I hope she's okay, because that sounds... Oh, I'd be terrified. Like, that that little hoop already scares the fuck out of me. I learned a trick on it, though. But, shit, I feel bad for her. Whoever it was. Ugh, it's fucking cold. So, I'm outside of the club. She's in the car. Waiting for my boyfriend to finish up but shit that was crazy like i was saying before some girl fell off the hoop and she went flying on the floor i saw her in the dressing room and i guess she hit she landed on her head and her back of her head was bleeding just a little bit nothing crazy she was okay she said but that's crazy that was crazy we made some stage money but i didn't do any dances there was like 50 girls. I learned a trick on the hoop tonight. That was cool. Still need to learn some new tricks on the pole. I really need to order a pole. Like, I know some pole tricks, but there's so much more that I want to learn. So I definitely, definitely need to order a pole for the fucking house. I've been saying that shit forever and I still have not got around to it. But I really do need to order a pole because I need to start learning some more tricks. Like, I know some, but there's a lot more that I need to learn. <sighs> I like their stage. I don't know. That pole feels kind of wobbly. Like, when I go to the top, it's just like, I don't... It's like a wobbly pole, kind of. I'm just like, what if it should just, like, breaks and falls? I don't know. Uh, so, this is our second night working here. Tomorrow is Saturday. I want to go to Sugar. So they open at 1 tomorrow. So I'm going to try to get there by 1 o'clock. Hopefully I'll be awake. Hopefully. What time is it right now? Oh, it's 2.40 right now. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't get that much footage inside of the club because the music is loud but it's a pretty club as you guys can see but it's really slow and empty not that many customers be coming in here i guess this club has been open for like maybe a year and a half oh wait no they've been open for like a year now and it's always been known for empty and slow i've always heard about it like that to be empty and slow like they brought in some new people they're doing something yeah but they're like scaring all the customers that used to come in here they're scaring them away and they're bringing in like a whole different type of crowd so they're just like trying to switch this club up because i was talking to some of the girls that have been working here and they were like yeah some of the customers got scared yesterday and they just walked out like some of the regulars that would come in here for them because they're bringing in a different type of crowd this was more like of a gentleman's club and they're trying to change into more i guess urban i don't know how to explain it but that's just trying to switch it up i guess and that's scaring away all the regular customers that used to come in here and it's still i don't know how to explain it but yeah i'm hungry but what do i want to eat i wanted to get a cheeseburger but they were all out so i ended up getting steak bites and some fries the fries were really good the steak bites were okay but the fries, those were really good. They had like these waffle fries. At first I was like, what the fuck? Because I don't like the waffle fries from Chick-fil-A. So when they gave me those, I was like, but they were bomb as fuck. So I definitely got to get some more of those next time. I do plan on trying some new clubs, some more new clubs next week. So stay tuned for that. I've been working at night way more, as you guys can see. It's kind of interfering with my sleep schedule because like when I work day shift I have time to go do stuff in the morning go get take take care of what I need to take care of go to work and then still have time after work to go do whatever I need to do 
And now I'd be working at night and I'd just be sleeping all day until like almost three o'clock. And then by the time I wake up, it's like I'd be chilling in bed and then get ready for work. That's why I like day shifts. Day shifts. <sighs> but tomorrow we're going to sugar for day shift. I don't know what time I'm going to stay till, but we're going for day shift. Saturdays are usually fucking slow and it this good. Uh, it's been slow there lately. So hopefully tomorrow's okay. A good day. We can make some money tomorrow because yes. But I'm going to end this video here. Make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think of the club. And leave a comment. And y'all already know what to do.